Hi, in this video we'll have a look at one of the concurrency utilities which comes in java.util.concurrent package, the countdown latch. Countdown latch is a utility you can, you can use when you are using threads. So if you have a number of threads and you need to wait for completion of all the threads before going ahead and performing any action, you can use a countdown latch. In our program we have our main method which uses a countdown latch. Also we are using a concurrent hash map. So our countdown latch is taking 3 as the parameter in the constructor. So we have 3 threads. Let's see at the constructor of the countdown latch it takes a count. If count is less than 0 it throws a illegal state exception. Else it creates 3 sync. Sync is a private class inside the countdown latch. So it's a private static final class. If you have a look at all these utilities you will find there is an abstract queue synchronizer. This class forms basis for most of the utilities you get in the java.util package. In our main method we also have concurrent hash map. You might have used concurrent hash map mostly to be used in an environment where you have concurrency and you don't want race conditions etc to happen and you avoid a hash map and use a concurrent hash map. Next we have a class called work. So work takes a name, our countdown latch and a map. Next we go and start all our work, work 1.start, 2.start and 3.start and at last we get the count that will show us the total number of threads and then we get our map, our concurrent hash map and we print the total work done using our values.stream which came in Java 8. Let's see our work class. So work extends thread, it takes our countdown latch, it takes the task name and our concurrent hash map. So this is the constructor and this is our main method. Inside our main method, we are using a thread local random to generate a random number between 1 to 19. So here we have our random number, we make our thread sleep for a second and then we put the task name and the number in our map. As our work is completed, we do a countdown on our latch stating that I have completed my work. So the latch goes down and we also print that the work is completed by this task. So we have three threads so till 3 becomes 2 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0 we do our countdown. We start our threads and our latch has the count as 3. So countdown in 1, 2 and 3 threads bring it to 0. As it comes to 0 our await condition is done. We come out and we print our statements. So let's run this and let's have a look at the results. So total number of threads are 3. Tom, Harry and Dick completed their work. The work done is 13 by Dick. Tom has completed 6 and Harry 15 and the total work done is 34. So that's one of the ways you can use a countdown latch. Thanks for